Yeah. What's going on, Martians? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Martians. It's the one and only Bust, aka Bust the Martian. And I'm back with another banger for you guys. So, in today's video, I have some good news for you guys, man. So, as you all know, everybody that watches me and tunes in, I've been playing the Cycle Frontier. It's a free to play looter shooter PvEVP high stakes game. It's really fun, super fun, much more fun than it looks. If you haven't played it, I think you should try it and try it for yourself. But there's a case, you know, every game we play, guys, has cheaters. Every game we play has cheaters, man. Every single game PUBG, Call of Duty, um, every game I played, bro, freaking. From the small games, Cursed Fold, Cuisine Royale, uh, World War Z, the list continues, man. Cheaters is a problem for every game, man. And every developer has to face this problem. And some developers care more than others, you know? This is why some games die and some games live on. Because the cheaters will get on there and ruin it for everyone. And the devs don't care. I feel in situations like that, I feel like the developers are the, <laughs> the ones with the cheats, bro. And like, so like, say, okay, for instance, I'm a boss. I'm the boss of the game that I made. And the game is called Martian Royale, right? And I hire uh, Juice. I hire Juice, Chris, and Shaggy. So I got three employees, Juice, Chris, and Shaggy. And we all are making the game, right? So say Shaggy. Once the I know Shaggy, yo, Shaggy, I know Shaggy's gonna be like, why the fuck you gotta choose me, bus? Why you couldn't say Juice or Chris? So I'll say it don't matter. And say one of my employees are just like they just want our fraud, like they just not dope a hundred percent. Not I won't have this problem, bro. To be a Martian, it's only one way in or out, bro. Either I mess with you, or I don't, bro. To be a Martian, it's only it's a lifestyle. But as an employee, one of the employees go behind the boss's back. They have all developer tools and they develop, they uh, develop an outsource program. So they take whatever developer tools they have to create the game and they outsource it into its own separate program and they sell that program, bro. They sell it. They sell that shit. That's cheap. It's, they're just like that. You got cheaters. And that specific developer is just getting rich bro he's probably gonna he's gonna make more money than the company makes most likely because everybody's cheats man there's fucking cheaters everywhere so cycle is uh just released some information in regards to cheating so with no further ado i'll see you guys in the live stream head over to facebook gaming put a, i could put a link like right here bow click Type this link in right here and head over to Facebook Gaming. Drop a follow and hit that like on our channel as well. I love y'all. I'm out. UFO Squad, Martians Family. I'm out. Peace. Since the start of season one, and there's been many, many positives. Um, I'm really happy about how our Twitch Drops campaign went. Uh, there were a few technical issues with it, but all in all, it was really great for us. However, there are definitely big challenges and I want to talk about those, especially cheating. So we've created an anti-cheat team and I want to tell you today about their priorities. So what are they going to be working on? So it's worth noting that BattleEye is not our only source of protection. You can kind of think of BattleEye as a moat around a castle. So essentially it's our first line of defense. So for cheats that do make it past the moat and into the castle grounds, we have our own internal solution that detects and prevents and ultimately bans cheaters that use more sophisticated methods. We do continue to work very closely with BattleEye to ensure it remains an effective moat, but regarding our own internal system, we've tuned existing detection to be a bit more aggressive. Yeah, we've also had some false positives with that and we've banned uh, innocent players and I just want to apologize for that. So new detections and preventions have been added and 
we will continually do this and continually tune them. So essentially, two of our core goals is to number one, auto detect and ban more cheaters, and two, to do this as fast as possible so that cheaters cannot linger in a match. So as more players continue to play and as our system records more information about cheaters, it will continue to get better and better. We have also begun to develop a victim compensation system to grant loadouts back to those killed by verified cheaters. Another feature that we're working on is um, ping limit. So if your ping is over a certain limit, you won't be able to, to join that regional server. So this is to stop players who are using VPNs to go basically halfway around the world and enter a different region. This is to combat cheating, but it's also uh, causes desync issues and just gameplay issues uh, when someone has such a high ping. So I think this is, a, this is an important feature for us to work on. The next biggest topic after cheating is probably disconnects because we don't have a reconnect feature, but we are working on one and that is something that we will have in time for season two. A lot of us, me included, we spend time reading the, the Steam reviews and um, the reason we do that is because we really care about what you think about the game and it's clear to us that every second negative review is about cheating. So that's why we've created an anti-cheat team and that's why they're working with top priority on several important initiatives that I've laid out for you today. And I think between now and season two, we're going to see several, several improvements going live. So yeah, thanks a lot for, for listening and see you in the next one. All right, Martian. So now that you got a good glimpse and was able to hear it for yourselves from the cycle developers, um, they're working on anti-cheat, a second in-house anti-cheat, sort of how Warzone did their uh, ricochet. And you know, people still cheat on ricochet. But I actually have higher hopes for um the cycle i have really high hopes for what he said man and like i just have a really good sense of people and his voice he meant what he said man and they really care they care about what we as the gamers feel they care about how we feel man so we need to uh keep reporting the cheaters as you get killed by cheaters for those of you that are playing the game for any new players if you suspect anyone is cheating just report them and let the devs do their job simple as that another thing that i want to point out a keynote was the ping bro that is what killed a lot of games man no the ping allowing people to vpn is what creates hackers in the first place so just no vpns allowed simple as that no vpns allowed and high ping they can't get access to your server so that right there alone is a w big w man so with no further ado, man, I'm not going to talk you guys head off anymore. I'm excited about this update, and I just wanted to inform all of my Martians. I love y'all. UFO squad, Martians family. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. so pretty after the club wish we could drink and tour the city want to drink and smoke together might just tap my name across the titty god damn your friend sexy my girl around here somewhere please don't get caught next to me